Try to snatch a camera out of his hand, I'll break your neck, bro. You, you, look, it ain't nothing you Listen. can do to me, bro. How's it going, guys? Amagate Suppress coming to you today from Denver, Colorado. And we are at the Denver Police Department at the District 3 headquarters. Uh, we are at the corner of South University Boulevard and Iowa Avenue. And uh, we're gonna pay a little visit on these folks today and find out if they honor and respect our rights to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of government buildings, specifically a police department today. Um, I'm out with watching the watchman. Time and temperature check. Today is Thursday, January 16th, 2020, and it is 2.40 in the afternoon and 36 degrees in Denver, Colorado. You can see the Rocky Mountains off in the distance. We have Old Glory, not waving in the breeze but flying high as she should. There was a lot of wind this morning. It was actually a high wind warning. And uh, the wind has died down. All right, so this is the first time I've seen this on a police department. Okay, so no video recording is allowed in the Denver Police District 3 station without prior permission from the Chief of Police. Okay. You want to hold my camera and I'll go in there and see if I can get permission from the Chief of Police okay. to let us in? Right back. Can't film inside. That guy came out all chilly. Who? Well, he just walked out. Well, he said we're okay outside, obviously, um, but just not inside. Those who violate this order are subject to arrest under CRS 18 9 117 by order of the Chief of Police. So uh, they're claiming that it is a Colorado revised statute, and there is a statute number listed on the sign out here, so we're going to have to look into that. Um, the officer inside gave me the phone number to the chief's office, uh, which is, I put the E before I, I'm dyslexic. Um, so to ask for permission to record inside district three, uh, 720-913-6010. That's the chief's office for permission. Uh, so if anybody's interested in filming, you certainly have the right to call the chief's office and request permission uh, because on the sign here it says that you need the chief's permission to be able to do that. Yeah, so when I went inside, the uh, excuse that they use is that people come in with personal information. You know, the standard thing they always say. Uh, people come in with personal information, private stuff, and uh, it would violate their rights for us to be in there filming. My argument to that is, Personal and private stuff shouldn't be out in the public view, in the public lobby, in non-restricted areas, first of all. Uh, and second of all, their um, perceived right to privacy is violating my right to photograph in public places. So it's an interesting discussion to be able to have with somebody, um, but it would have to be with the right person. So I am going to try to contact the chief and see if... Uh, See if we can have that conversation.
I'll hang around here by the gate for a little while and see if we can get a couple of cars going in and out for some B-roll. Would you guys snitch us out? Would you guys snitch us out? Tell the cops there were some bad guys with cameras wandering around the neighborhood? Oh, okay. I was just asking. Just asking. That's, that's what I heard. Yeah, so while we were inside, these guys were having a little conversation with the cops. Filling them in. Whenever we do these things, I have other people around keeping an eye on things for me. My vehicle and uh, the area. So, I got a text while I was inside the uh, police department that these construction guys out here were telling the cops what we were doing. Which is fine, I don't care, but... I usually live by the uh, live by the mantra. You mind your own business. What's that? No, it's better than it's better than sweeping street uh, sweeping dirt off the street. I'll tell you that. Hey. I'd rather do what I'm doing, man. Hey, but look though, I'm not the police. I didn't say you were. So 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 by rights, if I wanted to snatch. What are you walking up? What are you walking up to him for? Look, if I wanted to snatch the camera out of his hand, I'm not the police. If you try to snatch the camera out of his hand, I'll break your neck, bro. You you look. It ain't nothing you Listen. can do to me, bro. You're gonna it really? It's nothing you You're can do to me. You're gonna touch my yeah. Don't put it in my face. What are you face. gonna put okay. it in my face? What are you gonna do? Listen. What are you gonna? Fuck, you, you got, get my face? You got nice boobs. You understand? Bro, I got two. Back up. I got big back too. up. You understand? Back up. You're back up, motherfucker. Get your hand off. Get your hand off. This is silver. Get your hand off. I just want to I'm going to press charges against you, I sorry. Want, because ass. I want to hug? Back up. Because I want to hug. Back up. No. You just got in my face. No. Now you're going to back up. No. Yes, you are. Now you're touching me with your belly. You think I can about you, touching you, you just push my camera. Do you do you work out? Yo, do you work out? Yo, call yeah. him. I'll press the charges against you. Yeah, yeah, call him. <laughs> I'm out here with my son. Okay, taking video on a public side. This guy just walked up and grabbed my camera. No, I'm, chest bumped I'm me. It's all on video. So he just assaulted let me, and I want to press charges let against him. Watch the video. She's got it on video. Let He's got it on video. I, I want to show you the video, and I want him arrested. Okay. Well, give us a minute, okay? I'll you give know. you all the time you need, cool. sir. After Thank you. Coming. You got Let's it. Wait for hey, me. hey, you talk to him, hey, and I'm going to talk to him. Talk to you him. go talk to whoever you got to talk to, brother. No, you talk to him, and I'm going to talk to him. I got you all on camera. Talk Three different him. ways. Talk to him, and I'm going to talk to him. You go try to tell your wife what to do. Don't talk to me. So I'm out here on the sidewalk. Shirt, tan pants, the other one, back up a little bit. The other one's going to be a white male, blue shirt, blue pullover and blue jeans, and a, there's a female out here as well. Okay, what's right, going on? So I came in and checked with you if it was okay for me to be out here filming. You gave me permission, said it was, right? Confirmed right. that I'm allowed to be. You're in public? I'm, I'm standing on the sidewalk. That guy just walked up, grabbed my camera, twisted my arm down with my camera in my hand, walked up and chest bumped me. He was this close to my face, my son and my wife okay. had the whole thing on video. I want him arrested. I want to press charges. Okay. You were up. In Standing his face. right on the you sidewalk. Were in his face as well. I was watching from over there. Man. He walked up to my face. Where was I going to do? Try to snatch a camera out of his hand. I'll break your neck, bro. You, you, look, it ain't nothing you Listen. can do to me, bro. Okay. You can back up. No, I have the whole thing on video. Okay. That's okay. Fine. So stop defending him. And I'm that's telling fine. you right now, I want to press charges against okay. him. Otherwise, you're next. Don't raise your voice at me. I'll raise my voice all I want. Trying to get help I'll raise me. my okay. voice all Why don't I want. You stand over there, and I'm going to go. It's a free to country. I'm going to walk down the sidewalk. Stop trying to tell me what to do. I don't need your unlawful directives. I just got assaulted, okay? And I want charges pressed against that guy. I'm not looking for a lawsuit. I, if I wanted a lawsuit, I'd sue you, okay? I just got assaulted, buddy. I just got assaulted, and you're going to do your job. You're going to do your job is what you're going to do, boy. So move it. Move it. You're going to do your job. Because I have a camera in my hand, you're not going to sit here and authorize somebody to freaking attack me. I just got assaulted. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for doing your job. And that's exactly what you're going to do. Who's in charge here? We are. Good. 
Who's the one that's got the level head that I can have a civil conversation with? Well, I'd like to think we all do. How are you? Good. Well, my name is Jason. Pleasure Adam. to meet you. Sergeant Rives, nice to meet Sergeant you. Sergeant Rivas? Rives. Rives, I'm okay. sorry. Nobody ever gets And right. what's your name, sir? Right card. Mike. Jason, nice Jason. to meet you. How are you? All right, so I went into the police department, mm -hmm. okay, had a conversation with the officer that's in there now. Okay. Asked him if it was okay for us to be outside filming on public sidewalk. He said, yes, it is. Just can't film inside the station. Correct. I left my camera outside. I respected that. Came out here. This is my son. This is my wife. Okay, so we're standing out here. I was right here. I'm on the public sidewalk, out of the way of your driveway, not blocking anything. This guy decides he's going to walk up to me, grabs my camera, twists my arm down, and then chest bumps me and gets this close to me standing in my face. One of these guys? Yes, one of the construction guys. Okay. Okay, so I want to press charges against him for assault. Okay. That's where we're at. So do you have that on film? My, I, well, it was my, he's got it, yeah. Okay. Would you mind showing it? Yeah, you can turn it off and show it to him. I got you. So, wh what was the issue? I mean, why would he you... didn't like it that I was out here filming? Okay. Yeah, he started coming up to me first. And then he, just to... he started getting insulting, saying to me, you know, if you guys have nothing better to do with your lives than record, I'm like, what are you talking about? So, he was saying something off. So, then I said to him, hey, listen, I'd rather be doing that than sweeping dirt off the street. Okay. You know, you're going to throw something at me, I'll throw something at you. But I don't get physical with people. Understood. Okay, he walked, you're going to see it. He walked up and grabbed my camera, twisted the whole thing down. And that's unacceptable. You don't put your hands on somebody. Started from here. Okay. So he walks up to me first. He walks up to my son who's 16 years old and gets in his face. Did they feel like you guys were filming them? Is that what the problem was? It doesn't matter what he feels like. I don't care. I mean, I'm standing just, on the public sidewalk. He's saying he was going to snatch the camera out of my hand. There's a disconnect between law enforcement and the community these days, okay? I'll point you in the so direction of what I do. Can you show me the and you'll see what I do. What I do is try to close that divide. I'm trying so to create when dialogue. When you, when I went into your camera, department very respectfully, right spoke to your officers. So we're not out here looking for problems, okay? But when I get physically assaulted and somebody approaches my 16-year-old son, a grown man, that's a problem. No, he's a grown man. He's 16 years old. That's fine. This guy walked up to him and said he was going to snatch his camera out of his hand. And your police officer was very rude. Okay. Okay. And your police officer actually said to me, you deserve it because you're looking for a lawsuit. Exactly. Okay? So let me tell you something on that note. I'm 50 years old two weeks ago. Never sued anybody in my life. Cool. Never. Me neither. You can look up my record from the day I was born. I don't sue people. That's not what I'm out here for. Well, but you, well, but your your officer there is very presumptuous assuming that that's what I'm doing out here. Yeah, I, I wish you would. Yeah. All right. Anything else we can do for you guys? Yeah, arrest this guy for oh, physically assaulting me. Do that. You didn't even see the film. I, I, what makes you say that? I said I don't think. I don't know for sure. So it's okay to walk up. So if I walk up to you right now and rip your body camera off your chest, you're going to let me do that? Is that okay? Come on, Sergeant Reichardt. We're having a serious conversation here. It doesn't sound serious. No, that was serious. Yeah, that one. Probably. It's not. It's a real question. He walked up. He grabbed my camera, twisted the whole, twisted my whole arm down. It's on video on two different, ca three different cameras. And I saw it all. So I can prove it happened. I did nothing to initiate it. So what do you do? You just let people assault people here in Denver, Colorado? Yeah. Is that the way? Seriously, I'm not. I don't think From it's what funny. I'm observing on the video here, this We're doesn't good. rise to the level of an assault. Okay. So can I grab your body camera and twist it? Is that all right can with you, you? Grab my body camera. Yeah, you're gonna let me do that. Why would I let you do that? Why would I let him do that? Why would you do that in the first place? Yeah, I don't understand. Why would he do that in the first place? Well, the can, point I'm trying to make is, is... that you guys are walking well, up to well, each let's, other. Let's make the point. Go ahead. The point I'm trying to make is I didn't put my hands on anybody. Okay. It's against the law to put your hands on somebody. It's called unsolicited touching in New York. I don't know what you call it here in Colorado. We're not in New York. So it's legal to touch people on when they're when they're not interested in being touched we're in Colorado? New York. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Are we in New York? Obviously, we're not in New York, sir. What I'm asking you is, is, is let, let's go back to let's go back to the the initial thing. The, the the fact that you walk up to him with your camera like this in his face and he just pushes it out of the way doesn't constitute an assault. Of course it does. No. Of course it does. We've we've explained that it doesn't. It doesn't. I think our, I think it doesn't our job constitute is done assault here. I need your business card. I need your business card, and I'll be going to the district attorney's office. You guys are unbelievable. Yes, we are. Because you have a wrong idea. Now I'm going to go out of my way to make you look as terrible as you really are on the inside. I do, all I do is make you people look good. There you are. And I'm trying to I'm trying to do a community well, service out here. No, there's a lot of good guys out there that don't deserve to be in the same group with you. All of this out. I'm going to put the whole thing out. Right, You're absolutely nice right. Day.
What is what is that supposed to mean? I'm not gonna have a nice day. I just got assaulted. You did nothing about it. So like like I was telling you, what what, what you have on what you're telling me is absolute bull. Okay. What you're telling me is absolute bull. People are tyrant pigs, and that's why you get what you get. You're a fucking tyrant pig. That's what you are. Allowing people to get assaulted. You should be ashamed of yourself. And I hope somebody does it to your wife and your children. You deserve every bit of it, bro. I'm going to pray tonight that somebody does what they just did to me and my son to you. And to your family and the people you care about. You hypocritical tyrant piece of yourself. Have a nice day. Yeah, go yourself. You don't have a nice day. You. Tyrant scumbags. We're not done with you people. We'll be back. And I'm bringing a lot more people with me, assholes. You f***ed up today. You f***ed yourselves. You should be ashamed of yourself, f***ing tyrants. Well, all right, guys. Um, I don't know what to say. You saw what just went down, and uh, that's how they roll here at District 3 of the Denver Police Department allowing people to be assaulted right in front of the police department and doing nothing about it because we have cameras in our hands and you know that's what it is if i was walking my dog and that happened that guy would have been in handcuffs but because we have cameras they decide what they think they know and do what they do and yeah i'm a little hot about it i had somebody walk up to my son tell me he was going to snatch the camera out of his hand and then literally grab my camera, twist my arm down, the cops do nothing about it, and they defend it and walk away. So, um, the people that we, those two sergeants that were just out here were Sergeant Reichart and Sergeant Rives. Um, phone number here at the station is area code 720-913- one three zero zero um i think it'd be a good idea if some of you out there give these people a call and just let them know what you think of what you just saw um now you of course have the right to redress your government um and express any concerns and ask any questions you might have so if that's what you're interested in doing i would encourage you to do that i'm not asking anybody to call up make any threats of violence uh, use any profanity or uh, anything off color. I would ask that you keep your phone calls professional and business like. Uh, but please give these guys a call and let them know what you think of what you just saw because I think it's unacceptable. Um, and we're going to be back at this department again and we're going to come back with some more people and uh, we'll focus on this. I'm also going to contact the chief, um, I'm going to contact the district attorney's office. Nothing will get done about it because, as everybody knows, all they do is investigate themselves. Uh, but I'm not going to make it easy on them. And uh, we're not going to just let it slide because I was just assaulted right in front of the police department. They did nothing about it. Um, but unfortunately, that battle is not going to be fought or won out here on the street. So we're going to move on down the road. Um, and I guess that's going to do it from here today. Um, but we will be following up and then, you know, if you guys want to follow up and get some answers to your questions or express your concerns, we'd appreciate that. Um, so that'll do it for now. So coming to you from Denver, Colorado at the Denver Police Department, District 3, home of Sergeant Reichart and Sergeant Rives gonna do it for this one guys watching the watchman i'm against the press out <laughs>